Hey, hey, welcome back to the AI Micro Skills Podcast. It's just me, Dan Sanchez, aka Danchez, talking to you today because I have five big <laughs> predictions that I think AI is gonna that's gonna happen in AI for marketing in 2024. Now we're at the end of the December. Like everybody's throwing out predictions. So I was like, dang, I got some predictions. I know, <laughs> I think I know what's gonna happen, but at the same time, I've only been doing a deep dive for a, a couple of weeks. So take this with a grain of salt. But I will say there aren't a lot of people sp pushing in specifically into AI and marketing. So I don't know. I'll give it a shot. I've certainly seen these things come and go before with social media, marketing automation, Facebook ads. I've caught and run with some waves in WordPress. I, I, I called that one. I knew it was going to work. I didn't document it, so I can't prove it. But there is a number of predictions that I've made that things that were going to be big. And I actually think AI is going to be bigger than a lot of those things. But it's really hard to see how big AI will be into the future. And everyone, generally anybody in AI, no matter how good they are at it, is just kind of like, yeah, I don't know what's going on behind a few years. And it is hard. It's hard to know exactly. The rate of change has been so great that it's kind of like, I don't know, three years out, who knows? It's, it's anybody's guess. But one year out, uh, it's a little bit more known. There's some things we can know. We've seen the trend happen in other categories and new inventions that have come out. So maybe it'll happen a little faster, but who knows? So it's anybody's guess as to what will happen. But here are my five based on what I've seen play out before. Number one is a lot of companies, a lot of big companies are talking about AI aggressively right now and in multiple industries. I mean, we're talking like the big accounting companies of the world are talking about it. Food manufacturers are talking about it. Marketing companies are talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. <laughs> Everybody's looking at AI, seeing the disruption happening. Everybody's trying to prepare. Everyone's trying to get ahead. My prediction is number one is that a lot of big companies will take a big bets on AI this year with very mixed results. I think a lot of those big bets will mm, come away with so-so results or even disappointing results. And I actually think because it will have some disappointing results from some big players taking big bets, it's going to backfire and there will be a slump in AI and it will catch up to the hype. And some people will be like, you see, AI isn't as good as we thought it would be. Well, that's because they bet too big on it and thought it was too capable for doing something really complicated too fast. It kind of it's kind of like expecting iPhones to be as good as they are now, but it's it's 2015 and it's gotten a lot better since 2010, but you know, the 2015 models of iPhones were only so good at photos. Now like the newest iPhones, <laughs> it's hard to tell a pro photo from a amateur photo these days because it's so good at making great looking photos. So I think we're going to expect, I think I'm expecting that. I'm expecting some big companies take some big swings in some big ways on AI miss for there to be a backlash and people crying about AI. Um, that doesn't slow me down because I'm expecting that to happen. I know AI is going to be big and continue to get better and better over the next couple of years, even this one year. So let's see what my next predictions are. I think for all the big companies taking big bets, the, all the small companies, the solopreneurs, the creators, and the few scrappy marketing departments at mid-sized companies, they're going to take a lot of small bets and there it's going to pay off big. Like I think a lot of, a couple of like, not a couple, but many smaller teams and players are going to like run whole companies with AI. Why do I think that? Because I've seen it happen before. It's exactly what happened with marketing automation 10 years ago when small tools like Infusionsoft were making small business players be able to do million plus companies with just them and their assistant or a very small team. It was possible because they could now automate a lot of the processes that only big companies can handle with lots of people before. The same thing's going to happen with AI. It already is happening with AI. So it's not much of a prediction because it's already starting to look like that. The AI companies that I'm talking to are like, yeah, my our best players are all small people. Well, that's because small independent people can innovate faster, find what works quicker because they're so much more connected to the end result. They're the ones working on the product, talking to the customer and are making stuff happen, which is why they can find perfect utilizations of AI to help augment what they're currently doing to make them more effective fast. So I think those people will end up being the ones that write the playbook that mid-sized the bigger companies will be following following in 2025 through 2026. The plays that happen this year from those players will set the stage for what happens in the next years. And then who knows, there might be some big innovations after that that end up rewriting the whole playbook again. So we'll see. 
prediction number three, a lot of AI will get incorporated into the products we're already using. I mean, it's already getting incorporated into it. Like HubSpot's already adopting it. Right now, it's in kind of like small fry ways, like shorten this, change the tone of this <laughs> in your writing and stuff. But they're going to keep pushing the envelope and they're going to keep making it useful. So we're actually going to see AI incorporated into like every tool that we use. Maybe not every tool this year, but the, the majority of tech companies are playing around with this right now, this year, and are going to start releasing things if they haven't already this year, next year. And a lot of these tools are just going to get better because honestly, like what AI does fills in a lot of gaps that couldn't be automated before. It answers a lot. It fixes a lot of problems that we reached with automation in general and data hygiene and being able to do basic analysis on all these different numbers and data and stuff we had coming into our CRM. It's going to fix a lot of that. And it's just going to make what we're doing already so much more efficient. It's not going to invent crazy new stuff, but a lot of it's just going to get way smoother. Like Loom automatically creating titles and summaries before every video. It was a nice little touch that just made Loom so much better. That's going to happen across the board on so many different tools, and it's going to be fantastic. It's We're all going to love it <laughs> because we've got, gotten used to tools working a certain way, and now it's going to have this AI layer on it, and it's going to make things better. So that's prediction number three. AI gets put into everything. And honestly, an extension of that is not only will things be automated more, but that means a lot of content is going to be automated more, and there's going to be a greater proliferation to the point where We'll probably run into lots of bots next year <laughs> in social media, and we'll constantly have to be asking, like, are you a human or are you a bot? That's going to be a frequent question, I think, in 2024. Are you a human or are you a bot? But that's part of AI being built into things that we're already doing. It's not like a big AI prediction. It's just part of it. And of course, content proliferation in an election year means it's going to be more weird fake content, and it's going to be it's going to be funky. So there's just going to be more content, more needs for filtering out content. This is going to be, that part's going to start getting weird, but I'm not going to start delving into what's going to happen with politics because of AI. So let's move into prediction four. Uh, a few new ways are going to come up with AI, new ways to use AI for marketing that we would have never even dreamed of using. Some companies going to come out and be like, look what you can do with AI. And we're all going to be like, what the crap? Didn't even think about that. <laughs> it's going to like blow our minds. Like I didn't even think you could autom like use AI for that, but cool. And it's going to actually be helpful. That's my prediction that a few new like twists on AI are going to happen. And it might be this weird video thing or like augmented reality. I, I don't know. Like something's going to happen that's going to surprise and delight us. And we're going to instant marketers are going to instantly gobble it up and start using it because it's going to be really cool. I don't know what those things are, but I'm expecting to be surprised by at least two or three different major things that we couldn't have predicted now. That'll be unpredictable, but they're going to be cool. And we're going to, as marketers, we're going to start using them. So I'm just keeping my eyes open for them. So when they come, I'm ready to adopt them and start using them when they come. Uh, so that's prediction number four. Prediction number five, lastly, people will begin working towards building competencies AI beyond just fiddling with ChatGPT. Okay, so maybe that last prediction is a little bit self-serving since that's the whole purpose of this podcast and the show and AI micro skills. But I, I think it's true and I probably won't be the only one doing it, trying to build step-by-step -step guides and learning how to use AI that are not tool specific because the tools will change and like how we use them will change all the time, but will give people uh, broad strokes of how to measure where they're at and their skill set with AI and also how to start building up so they can actually start proving their competency, building the skills that will set the stage for the work for tomorrow. So that's the point of this whole show, if you haven't found out already. So subscribe if you aren't and stay tuned for the next episode. I have another ep uh, interview coming up uh, that I'm really excited about, about AI and how to automate your podcast coming up shortly.